Hi, so I did not think I would be making this vlog when I am, but we're here. I thought I'd be making this vlog in like six months time, but hi, um, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie and welcome to hopefully the first of my moving vlogs. So I've mentioned this in weekly vlogs and in other videos, but I have very suddenly had a job that is starting a lot earlier than I anticipated. I thought it was going to start in June 2021. It is now starting in January 2021, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to start as soon as possible. I just didn't expect that it would, but it is. And so I found out about this literally a couple days ago, but I only have about six weeks until my start date. So I need to get the hell on with getting my life sorted. And one of those things is moving out of my family home. I love living here and due to the nature of the world right now, I am gonna be able to come back here. We're making sure that that is all covered in what I'm planning to do. But realistically, if I'm working a long job, especially working remote, it's easy to do that in my own place where I have some privacy, have peace and quiet, because I mean, there's four of us in this house and it's quite a big house and we're really lucky. But nonetheless, it makes it difficult to work from home and the nature of my job is going to be very intense and very stressful so sometimes I'm just going to want that space to chill out by myself so I'm getting a place for myself I am staying in the same city that I currently live in I am just going to get a place in the center of the city because it also makes transport a lot easier and it's just sort of more the place I want to be right now although everything right now is closed but in the next few months that should start to open up a little bit and then that would be very much the place I want to be so that's the plan. That's where I'm gonna get a place. I have obviously started looking at apartments the second I found out my job might be starting early because I've kind of been itching to move for a very long time now, but there's not been any point to it. I've not had a job. Like I may as well save the money and stay here. And also with Corona and everything, I've not wanted to risk being too far away from home in case all was wrong again. But I have started looking at apartments and there is one specific complex I've had my eye on for months, honestly, and I've checked they still have apartments available. So the plan for today, the first day of this vlog, is we are gonna go into the center of town and basically just walk around that area. So near where the apartments are, just walk around that whole area, kind of get a feel for it and just check it is the sort of place I would want to live. Check the complex does look nice just from the outside and check that the area is nice and like seems like a like accessible area where I can get what I need because I may or may not have a car, I don't know yet. So I need to have things within access if possible. So that's the plan for today. And then if it looks nice, I will be emailing that complex tonight um, to see if I can arrange like a video viewing, not an in-person viewing, obviously, and kind of ask them a ton of questions that I have because I have a whole lot of questions, but I think it should work out from what I know about the complex, it should work out pretty well. But this is it, this is the starting point. So I'm gonna go do that. I might try and film some footage of like the vague area if it does look nice and We'll see how it goes. I'm very excited. As I said, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I've been wanting sort of my own independence, my own place. It's just not been sensible before now, but now it is. So we're gonna get on with it. And hopefully in the next month or so, I should have my own place. I am at this point looking to get a least partially furnished place. Although I absolutely dream of furnishing my own place and doing all the design myself, it is not sensible right now as I am still hoping to move to London within the next year or so. So what I don't want to do is furnish a whole apartment, have all this furniture and then have to move it to London. So I am looking for a partially furnished place if I can. So I can like sprinkle some of me into it in the decorating if they'll let me, they don't always with rentals, but it's still really easy for me to move in the near-ish future if I want to. So that's the plan today. We're gonna go do that. I'll take you with me, I guess. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't believe this is happening now. I've been thinking about it for so long and finally it's happening very quickly. Okay, so I just got back from the area where the building is. We just did a big walk around and you may or may not be able to tell I am looking very, very bedraggled. Um, the weather was not on our side. It was meant to be sunny all day today but instead it was tipping down with rain. So my hair is all wet and curly and ridiculous right now. Um, but therefore I didn't get any footage of the area because it was raining and I didn't want to get my camera out and get my camera wet. I look like such a mess. But the conclusion is the area is really nice. I obviously know the city quite well because it's the city I currently live in. Though I live sort of out in the suburbs at the moment and I'm moving into the center of the city. It's, it's kind of the perfect location. It's in a really quiet area but literally less than a 10 minute walk to the main train station for easy transport links and also less than a 10 minute walk from all the like fun areas with all the bars and the restaurants and the pubs and the museums and the big library and the art galleries all of that is so easy to access which is exactly what I want because obviously right now everything is shut and the world is very closed 
but you know we can only hope in the next six months to a year some of that starts opening again and if I want to have a bit of a social life it's obviously good to be able to access these things so it is kind of perfect so I guess tonight I'm gonna send an email to the agent and see if I can get it I have no idea how quickly this is going to go I could be sending emails back and forth for weeks I do have quite a lot of questions I want to ask them before obviously settling anything I don't even know how many apartments they've got available, how soon they have them available. I, It's very difficult to tell until I've emailed them. But if they've got an apartment available and they let me get it soon, I guess I probably will. I don't need the place for six weeks. Well, okay, no, my job starts in six weeks, so I'd obviously need to move in before that. But obviously that's not long after Christmas and New Year. And around Christmas and New Year, I'm guessing not a lot is going to be happening in terms of agents letting places. So I'm not gonna lie, if I can get it all sorted before the beginning of December, which is in about two weeks, that would be ideal because then I know I've got a place sorted and I can gradually move my own stuff in. I mean, my moving is gonna be driving in my parents' cars from here to the building, just back and forth with loads of stuff. I'm not gonna get a van or anything, so I shouldn't be moving big bits of furniture. It'll just be boxes of clothes and books and you know, all of that sort of lovely stuff. So. Yeah, it's really exciting. I have no idea. This may completely fall through and I'll be right back at the drawing board looking for a new place. But if this works out, I may have a flat like in the next week or two, which is crazy because until two days ago, I didn't even think I'd be looking for six months. But it is very exciting. So I'm gonna go draft that email now. It's obviously a Sunday, so no one's gonna get back to me today. They might get back to me tomorrow though, who knows? But it's very exciting nonetheless and I'm also really nervous that it's not going to work out because it's kind of the perfect place and if I don't get it, it's going to be really sad. But we'll see. We'll give it a go. But yeah, I guess this is it. This is really the start of the moving vlog and moving out properly to my first place. Okay, so a slight update on the moving front. Obviously not a lot has changed. It is still Sunday, but I have been speaking to the agent all afternoon. They have been sending me videos of some of the flats and some of them look really good and like exactly like I want. So I have booked a viewing in for tomorrow. So it seems I'm gonna go view tomorrow. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to get footage of them. I don't know if I'll be brave enough to whip my camera out whilst there we will see but they look really, really good. The only thing I'm struggling with, and this is such a minor thing and really not my top priority, is trying to find space to fit bookshelves in. Obviously, if you're on this channel, you know I read quite a lot. So <laughs> I'm trying to work out a way of fitting bookshelves into a one bedroom flat. And it's definitely gonna be possible, I'll fit them somewhere. But the furniture it comes with is a bed, a sofa, a kind of a TV unit and a kitchen table, which is brilliant. But I need to make sure I have a desk because I have a PC which I need to set up and I do lots of editing and journaling and stuff at my desk so I need a desk but I also need somewhere to work from home and I want bookshelves and I might need a bit more storage so all of a sudden I'm trying to fit a lot of furniture into a pretty small flat so we'll see how I manage that we'll see how much I can fit I am also my own worst enemy because I'm already fully designing how this flat's going to look before I've even got it so one of the amazing things about this complex is basically you're allowed to decorate you obviously have to get things approved but you can hang things you can paint and that's amazing most rented places in the uk do not allow you to customize the place basically you either pay at the end for them to return it to how it was when it started or you do it yourself so when i'm leaving i'll work that out but it's really exciting that i can do this so i'm already starting to think about like prints i might want to frame maybe doing a gallery wall somewhere i have a big clock i'm definitely going to be putting up because i love it so much and it makes me so happy having a massive clock it's one of these strange things i love i love clocks that's the sort of thing that is like my dream to have so i'm really excited but i shouldn't be designing it because i haven't actually got the flat yet and i'm also not sure when i want to move in probably in the first week of December, which is about two weeks from now, though depending on how quickly they think the flat might go, I may agree to take it a bit earlier just to kind of secure it. I don't know. We're not completely sure what the situation is. It's a new block, so I think I should be able to reserve it a little bit in advance. But either way, it's very exciting. I may, after tomorrow, literally already know where I'm living, which is so fast, but hugely exciting. Um, yeah, watch me not even focus on anything other than decorating for the next two months. <laughs> I'm gonna be awful. I'm already like planning Ikea trips and looking on furniture websites. I'm like, this should not be my priority right now, but it absolutely is. And I am so excited about it. 
Another thing I guess along with all this that I want to mention is that I have had a dream for a really really long time of getting a place by myself and living completely on my own and being able to decorate fully. I have when at uni lived with people, pretty much always at uni you live with other students. I did in my final year get a studio flat and live on my own but it was like uni accommodation so you get no choice about any of your furniture. The only thing I took was my book cart and a reading chair because I felt I needed it for my sanity. Other than that it's a bog standard boring flat so I've never got the chance to fully customise a place and it's a thing I've always wanted to do and although this isn't a fully unfurnished place which would be my preference it's just not sensible for me right now this may be my only opportunity ever where I will fully get to live on my own and yes this will likely only be for six months to a year but I'm gonna make the most of it so even if I do paint something just to paint over it it's fun it's the only time in my life I'm really truly gonna get this opportunity I mean it may be once I leave this place that I do get to move to London and live on my own but just because of the cost and everything else associated I may not end up doing that so I really want to make the most of this opportunity and kind of make the place exactly what I want it to be as it may be my only chance ever to do it. So allow me to be ridiculous and excited about putting a chest of drawers in my bedroom because I'm thrilled about it. Hello so it is the next day I do just have a quick update for you I don't have a huge amount to say but just really quickly it is as I said the next day I have just got back from viewing the apartment I went this morning and they let me view them I did look at quite a few different units but the one that was looking most promising when they sent me the videos of them is the one I am going for. They have got it on hold for me and I am now going through the process of applying for it. I'm not exactly sure what information they need and how rigorous the process is going to be. Hopefully I should be absolutely fine though. I should get it. Try not to get my hopes up too much just in case it does fall through for whatever reason. But yeah, very exciting. Um, I've seen the place, it's brilliant. It's exactly what I need. Obviously I would always love bigger space, etc, etc, but budget. So it's really good for what I'm paying and it's really nice. It's in a perfect spot as I think I said all of this yesterday, but it's really exciting. I'm likely not going to be moving in for about two weeks. I think I'm going to choose to move in in the first week of December. So once I've got it secured, I'm actually not going to have that much to talk to you about. I may take you through the whole process of buying all the furniture which I'm going to be buying because it is partially furnished but I need to definitely get myself some furniture and just all the little things like I need crockery, I need lamps for the bedside tables, just so much, so many little things which I need to buy and we're in a lockdown so I can't just go like mooch in Ikea. So I'm going to be doing a lot of online shopping, trying to restrain myself so I don't end up with too much and just generally kind of the fun bit will start but more so when I actually get to move in, which will be in a while, it's certainly not yet. So there may be big gaps in this vlog, you won't be seeing it till I've actually got the place. But yeah, it looks like I might have a flat, my first ever properly my own flat, which is really, really exciting. Hello, so I have a moving vlog update, which I did not expect to have. Um, I just got approved for my flat which is extremely exciting. It has been a bit of a process trying to get this flat. It shouldn't have been, it should have just been some simple forms and then it was all fine. But for some reason it's taken a really long time to get through and get approved for, but I have been approved. But with it taking so long, um, my move-in date is a week today. A week today is when I get the keys to my flat. I will not be moving in completely then. I'll probably take like a week or so to move stuff across. Also as there's quite a lot of decorating I wanna do. So I need the time to decorate before I like clutter the whole place up with all of my stuff. But I, I get it and I'm very excited. I've already been doing lots of online furniture shopping. I haven't actually ordered anything yet, though I did buy some gorgeous cushions today. <laughs> I just have to and I have no self-control. But I haven't actually ordered any like big furniture pieces yet. I obviously wanted to get approved for the place first because I don't think I've mentioned this to you. There are two aesthetics I really like and I'm going to shuffle over here so I can put them up on the screen. There is aesthetic number one, which is sort of lots of pale wood, and lots of white and quite a retro feel. And I kind of swim between retro and Scandinavian and I love this aesthetic. I think it's gorgeous. It's kind of how my room here is decorated and it's absolutely the aesthetic I thought I was going to go with for this flat. But there is another aesthetic I like, Q Mood Board, which is sort of dark wood and lots of black metal, quite an industrial feel. And I've always really liked this aesthetic, but thought it might make a place look small and dark and I wasn't sure about it. But the place I'm moving into, I will do an empty apartment tour later in this video. 
has like lots of dark metal already and some of the furniture that's already there that I'm keeping like the sofa has quite a lot of dark tones so I actually think we're going with that and those are the pieces I found I have a full-on shopping list which I now need to start getting. I need to do an Ikea trip and lots of other trips and obviously trying to do it as minimal as possible with the world as it is right now, but I do also have to get furniture and a few other bits. So I'm gonna be a few trips out and I'm just very excited. I am gonna do an empty apartment tour because why not? It'll take about two minutes to walk around because it is not a big apartment, but I will do it and maybe talk to you roughly how I'm planning to decorate it and then I guess the vlog after that will actually be me building furniture and putting things together and starting decorating. But yeah, I have a flat and it's very, very exciting and I can't quite believe it. So it's been a good day. Hello, so it is Monday 7th of December and today is a very, very exciting day because in about 20 minutes, I think, I'm running a bit late, I am leaving here to go get the keys for my new apartment. Mm. I can't quite believe it. Sorry, I'm very low energy right now. I'm very just focused on getting the keys and getting everything sorted and just getting moved in. Hoping most moving will happen this week, but that may be a whole different video. But I'm gonna go get the apartment today. Um, it's not completely empty. There's a few big bits of furniture in there that kind of come with it, which you can choose to keep in there, which I am because I may not be in this apartment for very long. It could literally just be six months. So I don't wanna like buy all the huge furniture to then have to move it out again. But yes, very exciting. Just a super quick update, the next thing you'll probably be seeing is the new apartment, which is very strange and very exciting. I'm in my apartment. We're gonna do an empty apartment tour. It's partially furnished, so it's actually not very empty, but we're gonna do it anyway. And I'm gonna show you and do a very brief overview explaining what I think I'm gonna plan to do to it. But yeah, let's do this. Okay, so I'm stood roughly where you walk in. I've just got very boring utility closet there walk in this is the main space with the kitchen table which lives in here through to sort of the living room I mean obviously it's quite open plan kitchen behind me over there then I spin all the way around got the bathroom in here with me hi then we've got the bedroom obviously it's all looking very sparse at the moment we've got a little bedroom got a big wardrobe view out which i'll show more in a minute from in here so as i said this is like the living room area obviously there is a lot of stuff that still needs to go in i've just walked in for the first time so you know but this is the exciting bit here if i can open it Ooh, falling over it's my balcony So yeah, that's just super brief. Um, there's not a lot to show because there is still a lot to do, but I have a flat and it's very exciting. And I'm not gonna take a super cheesy photo because what am I gonna do other than post about this on the internet? It's what I do now. So I'm gonna do that. And I don't know what else will be in this vlog. Maybe nothing. We'll see if the next clip is me wrapping this vlog up. So just a really, really, really quick update, but I felt like this needed to document because this, my reading nook at home, is about to be dismantled. I mean, the bookshelves are gonna stay in place. It's just a case of taking all the books out. The chair is about to go. I mean, you can see here, 
my wardrobe is half empty, loads of my clothes have already gone, all my shoes are gone, lots of things. But the chair is about to leave, in about an hour I'll be sorting through all the books and working out what's coming with me. But yeah, it's gonna be gone, it's all gonna be changed and it's very very strange, but it's quite exciting. Um, yes, so that's my very quick update, sorry I'm not showing my face, I look like a mess right now, I've not got properly ready in days, <laughs> because I've been busy, so... I will give you a proper update later when I actually look like a human, but I just thought I'd quickly show you this because it is the final time it will be looking like this, most likely ever. Hello, so it is time for the moving vlog update, which I haven't given you in ages. It is currently Thursday evening, it's like 8.48 in the evening, and tomorrow is moving day. I say that, it's going to be over a couple days, but tomorrow is by far the main day. We have a van on the drive, which my brother is kindly loading up, he's having me move tomorrow and so he's loading all my stuff into it, but there's still a lot to pack. Um, like a lot, I have gone through most of my stuff. There's definitely quite a lot still done, but also like we're going again on Saturday because we know that building all the furniture is gonna take more than a day. So as long as it will fit in a car, I can take more on Saturday. And also over the next week, I'm not moving very far at all, luckily, and my family are great and <laughs> helping me out. So I can take stuff over the next week or so. So I'm not too panicked about like forgetting anything but also I want to take the majority of the stuff tomorrow just to get it all done in one go so as not to annoy them too much. So we've been working on that. We're leaving early tomorrow, probably in less than 12 hours at this point, and we're not done. Um, and what am I doing? I'm sitting down to film a video. I am sitting down to film the choosing books to take with me when I move video, which you should have already seen. It'll be linked up there. But that's about it for the moving vlog update. I realise I'm not telling you very much at all, but there's not much to tell. It has just been a lot of packing and going through every item of anything I own, deciding if I need to take it, deciding if I even need to keep it, because over the last four years of living away from home I've accumulated a lot of stuff, but I have also bought quite a lot of new stuff for this move because I want to do the apartment out a lot nicer than I had my student houses because they were communal and so I didn't trust anyone not to smash my plates, so I never got anything nice, for example. But we've gone a bit nicer this time, which is really cool. I'll do a bit of a show around of some of the stuff I'm really excited about, one of which is a crockery set, and I know that's really sad, but I don't care. So that will be over the next few days as we move on Friday and Saturday. Lots of DIY is happening, lots of packing and moving is happening, but we're getting there and I should have the flat pretty much like sorted by the end of the week. I hope, we'll see if that happens. But yes, I need to film this video because I need to get on with packing these books. So we're filming the process to make a video because it should be funny, but God almighty, I need to get on because it's getting late. Yeah. Uh, just don't put it anywhere yet because my things on it, just hold on to it, but open the book. Put it like in the front seat or something. Hello, so it is Friday, it is moving day. As you can see, I am back in the flat. We have just cleared this whole space because we have a big old van. I'll include a clip here of the van with all of my stuff in it. I have a lot of stuff which I've accumulated over the years and a hell of a lot of furniture because we're getting a desk in here, we're getting a storage unit, all sorts. But we're moving everything. Luckily, everyone here is super helpful. So they've like given us access to the lift with like a key so only we can use it for the day and all of this, because I'm on the sixth floor. So that's a lot of stairs with furniture. So that should be really good, should be really easy, should be quite simple. But yeah, I am gonna be waiting in here and like taking things out the lift at the top. My mum and brother are doing runs at the bottom. It's a big team effort, but it should be good. And I'm wrapping my cute new jumper, which I love, not fitness related. Those days going to feel like a workout. And I'm excited. So yeah, we're gonna get everything just out the van because we need to return the van because it's a hire. And then, yeah, we'll start building the furniture, which is gonna take a long time and probably tomorrow as well. We're not gonna get nearly everything done today because we've got like five bits of furniture to build and like six shelves to put on the wall, two clocks to mount, some pictures. So much needs to happen and a hell of a lot of other unpacking. But I will time lapse some of it and just take you through the day because this is gonna be a big day and we're all gonna be very tired at the end of it. Okay, so we've done like the first three or four trips up in the lift. We think we've got maybe two more, but I just thought I would show you where we're at so far. It looks like a lot of stuff and it is a lot of stuff, I will admit. It should all go in storage once the furniture is built and be fine, but let's see where we're at. So this is the current situation. Boxes there, bags in the bedroom, boxes in a TV there, big shelving unit, and then all of this. So there is a lot and it is going to take me a while to get it all organised and get it all where I want it and get it all in storage, but it should go well. So 
Carrying on. Also, I definitely have the easiest job in this move so far. Like, all I have to do is wait in the apartment for the stuff to get up here and then like bring it from the corridor to here. This is really easy for me. I feel kind of bad that everyone else is doing the work, but it was just the easiest arrangement to have someone in the apartment at all times and it's me, so why not? Okay, so everything is in. We have tons of furniture in all the cardboard, a whole lot of bags, more furniture, all the cardboard, <laughs> my book cart, lots of boxes. We've got all of my boxes of books down there. There's a lot. But there's there's a lot but my mom and brother have had to go for about an hour because they need to put the van like return the van to the van hire place so we are gonna see how much i can possibly unpack in the next hour i'm gonna put some music on because we need music and then i'm gonna want to start unpacking basically i think i'm gonna start in the bedroom with clothes seems like a good place to start though i don't know where the hangers are that's a valid point i don't know where the hangers got packed we'll work that out and then maybe move on to the kitchen the problem is i can't get to the kitchen so we will see. I can't do all the clothes. I can only do the ones that hang in the wardrobe because the rest, we don't have the unit built for yet. But we'll start there and see where we get to. So I'm just gonna peek in here for this bit. I think I mentioned it in an earlier clip that there was a crockery set I was really excited about. We have it, we're gonna open it. There's another box down here. Um, bit of a backstory. I came across this crockery set online and fell in love with it, like instantly. Um, but it wasn't available to buy anywhere and I was really sad and no stores had it in stock. And I just kind of was like, I'll have to buy something else. It's sad, I'll get over it. And then the next day I was recounting the story to my brother and happened to get the link up to show him and there was like one available to buy and I ordered this thing in seconds so we're gonna open it and I'm gonna show you because it's so pretty it's so boring to most people but I love it okay so we're gonna open this box here just because I've got it in a better place you can see it there it's black I mean we're really oh, okay these are the side plates it looks really basic it's just black and I don't know if you can see but it has these little like speckledy bits on it and it's just so pretty and I love it so I'm gonna get the rest of it all out and then put it in the cupboard. So let's do that. Oh, that's so nice. The amount of cardboard I'm gonna to have to get rid of after moving it is going to be insane. Okay, there's two big plates in this box. I'm confused. Also, yes, I'm opening the box as the bread knife. All the other knives are buried and this is the first one I found. So this is what we're using. It works. Okay, these are the bowls. Again, they're just so pretty. I know this is just boring. It's crockery, but also 
it's black and therefore I am happy. Okay, getting you in the cupboard now. Let's just smoke. The cupboard is deep enough. We are good. I was really concerned that the cupboard would be too shallow. Okay, so I've put the plates here and I've put the bowls up on a different shelf just because they are really, really heavy and I'm expecting I'll need to access the plates much more often. So I don't want to put the bowls on top of it because otherwise I won't be able to get the plates out. So that's the plan and then I'll just fill the gaps with other kitchen stuff. Hello, so it is day two of moving. It is Saturday. You can see the chaos, but you can also see there's bookshelves and lights because I'm about to film organizing my bookshelves. I am very, very excited. We're gonna do it. We're gonna organize all my books. Don't know where they're gonna go yet. Not sure. We're gonna film it. We'll see. I don't know when you'll be seeing that. You may have seen it. It may be soon. Video schedule's a bit chaotic right now. But I'm gonna do that. Moving is going well. I don't think we'll get everything done today, just because there's lots of stuff to like drill into walls, which I don't think we're gonna get done, but everything else should get done. All the furniture should be built. We should be good. But we've got a lot of hours ahead of us still, and it's already like 4 p.m. So yay. Also, I'm very quickly gonna show you the view off my balcony because there's a really pretty sunset starting and it just looks very atmospheric. So I'll quickly show you that. So I think it's been about a week and a half since I last updated this vlog with the actual chaos of moving. I may have kind of completely forgotten to actually film any of it. It was a lot of furniture building and just working out where stuff was going. It wasn't particularly glamorous. It took a very long time. But as of maybe about a week ago now, I am fully moved in to the flat. I have been living here. I'm going to be going home for Christmas, but I have been living here for the past week or so. And obviously after Christmas, we'll then be living here full time. And that is what happens when you move out. So I guess the last thing to really do is to give a flat tour, which you'll be seeing in just a moment. I'll be doing a full tour of the flat. I don't have too much else to say. I guess just sort of a quick reflection before doing the flat tour. I've had the best time decorating this place and I've not done anything that interesting. It's just a few furniture pieces that kind of all go together and look how I like. And I think I've mentioned this before, but I was really lucky that the furniture that was already in the flat when I moved in was really, really nice and really fit my aesthetic and was very, very easy to work with, which made it a lot easier for me kind of making the flat look really cohesive and really nice because I had a really solid foundation to work with. So it's been good fun. There are definitely quite a few things which are still in progress. For example, I kind of have a bit of a print wall starting in the bedroom, but it currently has two prints on it. I do have a few more at my family home, which I'll bring here after Christmas to put up and add to it. But there are, you know, I'm sure there are some things which will still move. There are some things I'm still gonna have to work out, but pretty much it's all set up now and I'm really happy with it. So I guess we should do a bit of a flat tour. The flat tour is probably not gonna be very long because as I mentioned in the empty apartment tour right in the beginning, it is small. I mean, it's a really good size for a flat, but you know, it's one bedroom flat. There's only so many rooms to show you, but we will go through it anyway. And yeah, we'll get straight into that. Okay, so I'm standing with my back to the front door and I guess we're just gonna start as if I'd walked in. So here, as I've shown, is sort of the utility closet full of lights. It's a very useful little alcove and so it has tripods and lights and coats. It's just become a bit of a storage dump area, but it works and it's the one part of my flat that is not aesthetic, but we're going with it. But then turning round, you can see the first bookcase there, which I'll get to in a minute, turning all the way around to the kitchen, so I'll back up a bit so you can see. So that's the kitchen table, which did come with the flat and I actually really, really like it and it's really useful to have. We have the kitchen and all the cupboards. I'm not gonna show you in the cupboards because I mean, it's kitchen cupboards, it's very boring. We're also going to ignore the washing up, chilling on the side over there that I've not washed yet. And then sort of just pan around to my desk and the living area. And we'll go do some close-ups of those areas in just a second. So turning a full 360, we do have my first bookcase here. I am just gonna give you a very quick overview. You can see it's rainbow plus a few extra books at the bottom. I'm not gonna say more than that because next week maybe, I think there is a video coming, maybe this week actually, which is how I organized these bookshelves and put everything together and a full bookshelf tour. So you'll get that properly then. But then coming round here, this is my desk setup. So it's quite simple, it is a, well, actually getting this was an absolute nightmare because we couldn't work out what would fit in this gap. So we've ended up with a kitchen table top with two legs missing, balanced on top of a chest of drawers, next to this really big shelving unit. It's all from Ikea. 
Um, but this shelving unit is actually one I had at home and we ended up buying a new one because they didn't sell these anymore in this color. So we bought a new one in white, which is now replaced this one in my bedroom, my family home and moving this one from my family home to the flat, which was interesting to say the least. So as you can see, I just have my PC and keyboard and stuff. And I have sort of some pen pots and boring stuff. And then a lot of notebooks and a lot of notepads. I organize my life by lists is how I literally survive. So I have a lot of notepads and I just choose whichever one fits my fancy at the time. And then the sort of six journals on the side, there are ones I'm currently using. We have a storage unit here, which I had at my old place, which is full of washi tape, which always makes me very, very happy. And then this sort of pen unit here. And you can see everything's organized by rainbow because that is how I work. And then like my Tombow jewel brush pens in the back in an Illumicrate pot and a hair clip because I can't go anywhere without a hair clip. And then on top, we have all of my plants. I have accumulated quite a lot. Um, I'm not gonna go through them all. I don't actually know what most of them are. I get them because they're pretty, but they live there and they make me really happy. One other super cool thing in this storage unit, which I will show you is if I just go around to the kitchen side, again, ignoring the washing up, I have this little section. The ivy is kind of in the way and it's kind of backlit, but I'll show it as good as I can. Move the ivy. This is gin. These are the three gins I drink most. And so they live here and it makes me really happy. So I thought I'd show you that. And then above the desk is this clock, which I'm so glad I found because it fits the aesthetic so well of this place and I really like having it. And then panning around, we have the Christmas tree, which is going to be replaced very, very soon by a really, really large potted plant. That is just there for the meantime because it's Christmas, but when it's not Christmas anymore, I'm gonna get like a really tall plant and put that there. We then have a nice comfy armchair, which actually came with the flat and I love the yellow. I was gonna have yellow as my highlight color anyway, so it worked perfectly. The sofa with the softest cushions in all existence and the softest blanket in all existence. Coffee table with another plant. And then we have, I just crashed into the chair, the TV, the TV unit, soundbar, and another plant. And you can see up there the balcony and the view. I'm not gonna go back out there though because I've shown you that view before and unsurprisingly it hasn't changed. But I have put snowflakes on the windows because it's Christmassy, but honestly they might stay throughout at least the rest of winter because they're really pretty. Then spinning round over here, we do have the bathroom. I'll just put the light on. This is not very exciting. It's a bathroom and there's me, hi. And I just have all my makeup and stuff organized. It's very boring, it's a bathroom. And then we come into the bedroom. So the bedroom's not overly exciting. Obviously got the big bed in the middle. I did put these lights up. These are from Ikea. They're meant to be outdoor lights, but I have them in my uni room and I love them. So I brought them with me and put them up here as well. Um, I really like them because it means I don't have to have bedside lights on the bedside tables, which aren't that big. So there's not that much space. So it works really, really well having these lights here to light up the room when I'm trying to read in the evening. And then I did replace the bulb and stuff on the ceiling to put this really fancy light shade on it because it looks cool and it is a filament bulb because I'm hipster apparently. And then turning around in here, we have my book cart, which is currently full of just anything that doesn't have a home because I don't know what books I'm gonna put on it yet, um, but it's got book sleeves on it. And then we have a clock above it. I love clocks. And then we have my other bookshelf with all my cable albums on the top and all the books and my reading nook again, I will talk about that properly in my bookshelf tour coming this week, I think. And then turn all the way around. We have the wardrobe there, which is organized by color inside, but I'm not gonna show you the inside because it's kind of chaotic. My suitcase, because it doesn't have anywhere to live. And then just this little area here, which is just, you know, a small mirror, all my jewelry, and then a very useful storage unit, which I'm so glad I found one that fit this space perfectly. I thought I was gonna end up having to like waste that weird alcove, but this worked out beautifully. And then the one other thing in here is, as I mentioned, I have a print wall that's sort of in progress. That is hidden behind the door. The only two prints currently on it are my daughter's Smoke and Bone and Poppy War Illumicrate prints. I love them both, they're beautiful. I have a Pride of the Orange Tree one, which I'm gonna bring with me. And other than that, I don't know. So if you have any print artists you really, really like, or like artists who make really gorgeous art, please let me know down below, because I'm definitely looking to buy some more stuff. Because look at the space I have to fill. There's a lot of space. But that is pretty much the whole flat. That is everything. Just do a final pan round. 
but that's my flat. Oh, I didn't point out this lamp. This is one of my favorite things. It's just another hipster lamp because I'm ridiculous. And it's just that, and it's really cool. And I just realized my coffee table was really off center when I showed it earlier because I had it pushed out of the way so I could put a tripod up and film on my sofa, but close enough. Okay, so that was the flat tour. I hope you will like it. Um, I don't really know what else to say. This moving vlog's been a little bit chaotic. I edited the beginning of it last night and well, I edited like everything up to this point last night. And it was all right. It was a lot less footage than I thought I had. I thought I'd been filming a lot more than I did, but it's fine. It works. You kind of get the overview of what it's been like moving. And yeah, but that's it for the video. If anyone has any questions about the flat or has moved recently, I don't really care. I just love talking about moving and decorating and all of this. It's just so fun and so interesting. But that is it for the video. So if you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. Please comment down below if you ever moved out of somewhere, like got a new place. Do you live on your own? Do you live there? Just let me know. I'm just nosy at this point. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. All my other social medias, as well as links for the book clubs and read-alongs that I host, I'll link down below in the description as always if you want to take part in any of those. But that is it for this slightly chaotic flat tour, I think. So bye, and I'll see you in the next one.